right, welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and we are in the midst of doing our October contracts here. So we're pretty much picking up where we left off in the last episode. I just drove uh, this tractor over to this field to get the AI started um, on this next cultivation contract. And then we got to go back to field 71 and get the hay going there all right so go at it dude okay so looks like our guy didn't quite finish it's probably my fault because i i actually had to stop the game and go do some stuff in real life for a while um so he he probably i'm sure he would have finished otherwise so we can blame this one on me uh, but that's okay. Uh, there are there's going to be the usual you know little spots that you know the AI missed too that we'll have to fix up. So let's just finish this up ourselves. Man, it takes a long time for those rear mowers to lower back down. Wonder why that is. Really weird. So watch this. I'm going to hit the lower button. The front mower goes down immediately. One banana, two banana, three banana. It takes like three seconds. Now I know why there's a delay. So you can actually get started with the front mower and then the, the rear blades will lower as you move forward. But it's, it's way too long though. I think so, anyways. All right, well, anyway, let's go around and just pick up the rest of the little bit of grass that was missed, and then we'll get the tedding going. And we'll send this up to the to the north fields to get started with the cutting up there. You guys know the drill. We've done this so many times <laughs> by now. Uh, but hopefully someday soon we'll, be, we'll still be doing it, but we'll be doing it for ourselves instead of for somebody else. Can you imagine how much money you can bring in, um, you know, from the silage of just this field alone? And plus, you know, and I've mentioned this a couple times, when I buy it, I'm going to expand it. I'm going to go all the way out to the border of this whole property and increase, you know, the yield on this field probably, I don't know, 20, 30 percent, just depending upon how far out we can go. What is the, let's look at that for a second, just out of curiosity. Um, so yeah, this this property includes everything all the way out to the up to the railroad tracks, out to the road, uh, and even across the road over to here. Uh, it just doesn't include the little farmhouse area. So yeah, we could expand this field by I'd say a good solid twenty percent more yield. Um, we won't really be able to do anything in the creek area, but all of this we could cut all those trees out of there. All of this could be turned into field. We could get the stuff across the road here. And yeah. Um, how much? I was looking at all that and I didn't even look at the price. What does this cost? This property uh, here, there, and there. $680,500. Okay. <laughs> well, we won't be buying it tomorrow, but we will. I would like to buy it at some point. That's for sure. Wow, that's over a half million, dudes. We've never had that much money all at one time in this game. But it'll it'll happen. I mean, we are slowly progressing. Keep in mind, too, you know, we are playing on hard economy, so there is that. I'm just, you know, I'm enjoying it, though. Having a lot of fun with it. Okay, I think that's probably it. Uh, for the rest of the hay. All right, so what we're going to do is send this guy up to field 18. Create job. Have you staged in the usual corner here? And uh, when you get up there, we'll hop up and get you started. There you go. Okay. Now, we want to come here and get uh, the tedding going. 
Um, what I think I'm gonna do here is I think I'm gonna just turn the AI loose on the field as is and just see what they do. I'm not expecting them to do the entire outer edge, but they'll probably do most of it and then we can just, you know, come around and get the rest of it ourselves. So we'll just get them started right away and see how they do. We're going to own this thing someday too. I'm not really interested in doing hay for ourselves until we get cattle though. Because silage is definitely the way to go if, if we're just doing it to make money. But you know, once we get cattle, then we are going to need hay. And at that point, you know, then we're going to want to invest in some of this stuff. Okay, have at it AI. Get that stuff tetted. Okay, let's check on our cultivator. Seems to be doing a pretty good job. He's not quite halfway done. All right, very good. You're heading up to the fields, and that's kind of where we're at, I guess. All right, well, then why don't we... Why don't we just take over for this guy? Um, where are you going? You are going... Why are you going that way? You need to go this way. Who can know the mind of the AI? Don't know why they do the things they do. Okay, yeah, so we'll just take this up. We might as well do them all in ourselves since I don't have anything else to do at the moment. Save ourselves just a little bit of money. And besides, the mowing in this thing is fun anyway. I love it. It's good stuff. All right, let's see who we are. we doing hay or silage on this field? Uh, 18 is hay. 13 is silage. 14 is hay. 15 is hay. Sixteen is hay. Seventeen is silage. And everything is hay except for seventeen, I think. Let me double check. No, and thirteen. Okay, so thirteen and seventeen are the two that we have to win we want to windrow. And then everything else is hay. Okay. All right, let's get to it. Hello, Liza. How do you do? I'm writing you a letter. I hope it reaches you. I know it's been a long time since you heard from me. I'm still kicking around here in Tennessee. I heard you got a new place I heard you got a new job I heard you got a haircut And it looks real nice Are you ever lonely? Do you ever think of me? I heard you got a new man I hope it treats you right And before you toss this letter there's something that I've got to say An aeroplane Shooting across the sky Can surely take your body to A new place for a while But some things stay No matter where you go Still love me, lies, baby. Please tell me yes or no. When the world turns ugly, we turn inside. Try to find a good thing we can stand behind. All my friends tell me 
She's the one that got away But you never left me Like a ghost you stay There's nothing else worth thinking of When you find the one you love And the aeroplane Shooting across the sky can surely take your body to a new place for a while But some things stay No matter where you go Do you still love me, last big? Please tell me this one Okay, that finishes this cultivation contract. Let's turn that one in. And next cultivating is on field 24, and that's going to be uh, right over here, actually, by where we're haying. So I think what I'll do is I'll have the AI drive up to around this way and come back to that field there. Um, where am I at? Yeah, I think we want him to be on this road here. Let's get him pointing the right, pointed in the right direction. Alright. So, Axion selected create job. Go to, and I just want you to kind of pull off right here for now. Please tell me you're going to take this road. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Um, let's check on the tedding. They left that strip over there for some reason, but they're still going over here, so let's just let them keep at it, and it does look like I'm going to have to hit the border, but I, I figured that was the case anyway, so no problem. No problem over there. Okay, back to mowing. Okay, says one of the workers completed their task. It's not this one. Oh, you're here already. That was fast. Come on, you stupid cars. You have plenty of clearance. No matter what those guys. Uh, all right, so let's see. How do we want him to do this? This is an irregular field, so he might have a little bit of trouble. Let's just put him on it, though, and see what he does. Get him started on this end. Okay, go to it, man. Back to mowing. Okay, that was 17. The other field that needed the windrows for silage, I think, was 13. But let's double check. <coughs> so 17 was silage and 13 is silage. Okay, let's go do that. It's this far field over here, and then everything else can be cut without windrows. All right. 
now let's set these flaps back to open. There we go. Looks like maybe the tedding is done. Uh, sort of done. Okay. We're going to have to finish this up for the AI. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I know. We're going to have to come all the way around anyway. But let's do this. Let's bring... Let's just get this one spot here. And then we'll have to do um, a circle all the way around the border of the field. As I expected we did. And then there's that little spot over there too. Oh, he missed this too. What the heck, man? That takes care of the tedding for this field. I think I'm going to go have the McCormick come over and bring this up to the north field so we can get the windrowing started. And again, I'm going to let the AI start on the windrowing and then I'll come along when they're finished and clean up whatever whatever needs to be cleaned up at the end. <laughs> One thing I've noticed though, it seems like when I start them on this end of the field, they have trouble getting that, um, that little area over there. Whereas when I start them on that end, they seem to be able to figure it out better. So I think that's what we're going to start doing is going back to the other end of the field where we used to start them and they seem to do a bit, little bit better job of figuring things out. So let's get on over here. All right, let's see what they do. What, <laughs> what in the heck? 
Oh my goodness. And that that dude was sitting in that tractor the whole time and charging me too. For Pete's sake. Okay, I better probably just finish this one because, yeah, well, case in point, right? Let's get her done. Next cultivating contract is finished. Turn that one in. And next field is 25. That is, where is 25? 25 is, oh, that's a big field. Okay. Yeah, that's going to take a little while. So let's get our, our guy on his way over there. Great job. Go to and just go ahead and stage yourself right about here. And we'll come come get you set up when you're there. Uh, worker has stopped unexpectedly. Target is unreachable. Oh, for Pete's sake. If you want something done, you got to do it yourself. All right, get to it. Uh, let's check on our windrower before we get back to mowing. Needs to be doing okay so far. Okay. I have noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, that the rear mower blades do drop faster if you're if you're actually if you're moving. So it does the timing on it does actually seem to be about right. That wraps up the mowing. Wasn't really too worried about the pattern on this field because it's all going to be tatted anyway. Or I should say these fields. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have... Well, Nat, we're going to... Here, let's check on everybody else before we do anything else. Okay, you are... You missed that little strip over there, but that's okay. Everything else is looking good so far. And you are doing good too. <laughs> look at the <laughs> look at the lime coating on the the tractor and the cultivator. That's really cool. That's that dirt mod that we installed. I love it. Very realistic. Okay, so we might as well just drive you back to the farm and grab the McCormick, and we'll head out to back to field 71 and start bringing up you know the tether and the well the tether in particular. Uh, to get started with the tedding up here. Oh, where did that car come from? Okay, that never happened. You guys didn't see that. You just thought you did. Okay, let's stop and fuel this up. Since we're going right by the gas station. And I do have the mod now that requires me to get out of the vehicle to fuel. Still doesn't allow me to pick these up, but I don't think the, the base game would allow that anyways, but it's a little more realistic. Hey, 166 bucks, that's not too bad. Let's go uh, hose it down and get it parked, and then we're finished with this, this implement. 
machine. It's dirty. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And we're finished with you. Okay. We're going to get the McCormick. Well, actually, um, why don't we have a worker drive the McCormick out to 71 because we have we have to deal with the other guys. So um, you go to oh, great job, go to 71 and just, I don't know, park here. All right, so you have gotten yourself stuck here for some reason. Not entirely sure why. So let's start you back up again. Might be because he tried to go too far and got off the field and got confused. That'd be my guess. Okay. And then you're still going strong. Looks like you're getting close to about halfway done. And you're very white. <laughs> I love it. All right, we can take back over for you now. Okay, let's get this thing unfolded and get the AI started tetting this field. There we go. All right, we'll see how they do. Let's check on you. You're stopped again, probably because you went off the field. So I guess I'd probably better finish the wind drawing. I gotta, I have to do that, the outer row anyways. Um, yeah, that's probably what's going on there. So I might need to, in the future, do that outer row for them.
that should take care of the Windroid. I'm going to keep it here, though, just in case some of the outer uh, row is still a little too far out for us to reach uh, before I take it up to the north fields. So we'll do the baling on the outer row first. Uh, but I also want to check on my other workers, too. Uh, so let's do that first. Why have you stopped? Oh, I know why. I had to, uh, once again, leave the game for a little bit, so I shut it down and forgot to start him back up. That's too bad, man. He would have been done by now. Doggone it. I wish I would have remembered that. Okay. That yep, is what it is. Take it from here, man. All right, so you are pretty much done tedding. It looks like there's a little bit of touch-up that's needed. Let's take care of that, and then we'll get him started on the next field. Well, nah, I probably better do those fields, because since they're all kind of grouped in together, um, I'm sure the AI is probably going to get confused on that, and I don't want them wind, or, or rather tedding our wind road fields, which I could sure see them doing that. Okay, so let's go down to this other end of the field there. Looks like they did a reasonably good job overall, though. Just probably going to be a couple little wedge areas over here. We'll swing around and hit this little piece, too. All right, very good. So we're pretty much finished with the AI for hay. I'm going to have to do the rest of it. Uh, but we still have the cultivating going. 